So just got back from a 207k ride today, looking pretty worn out. <laughs> Let me get the face up. This is for the, the trolls can use this in the meme meme generator. <laughs> 207k ride today. Toaster did a, a sub 15, did a 1458 up Norton Summit after 192k today. Feeling freaking pretty good right now on the bike. Today's video, Harley, can you please do a video about Lou Corona versus Doug Graham? They're similar ages, almost the same age. Why does Lou have less wrinkles than Doug? And you can can you critique their diet and athletic performances and vitality, etc. Look, I'm not going to do a video about that. That's just that's creating more controversy and truth, and I'm not into that. So I'm not going to do it. All right, fuck it, let's do it. So we've got Lou Corona. I think it's great that Lou's been doing a vegan diet for 40 years. Fantastic, good stuff. Huh? I, I rate, think Lou's got some great things to say, great things to share. I am very critical, though, of the fact that he sells supplements. He's a supplement, 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 pusher, 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 seller. That's, people got to make a dollar, and that's what he does. So I'm critical of that, that someone as a raw food guru, <coughs> self-pointed, would sell enzymes to raw foodists when the whole premise of eat a raw food diet versus cooked food diet, I don't eat cooked food because it's got no enzymes in it. So eat a raw food diet and take my enzymes. And on Lou's site, he says, the FAQ is, can you take too many enzymes? He's like, nah, it's like driving a car. If you want to go faster, push more. So you can't take too many enzymes. Another question is, how long do you take enzymes for? And the answer was, just, just this life. On the other hand, you've got Doug Graham's foodandsport.com website, FAQ is just full of free information. So Luke Corona's FAQ is about his enzyme products. Doug Graham FAQ, he spent hours reading all the free information about diet and lifestyle. So that's just my first critique that Doug donates a lot of his free time on forums and stuff like that on his blog, get a lot of information. Lou, his website is basically just a sales page for enzyme product, which is, hey, that's just my comments and criticisms. doesn't make anyone a bad person. I'm just saying that's, I always like to know where someone's coming from. Is it from the heart? Do they say it? Or is it actually from the dollars? That's just my critique. Doesn't make anyone a bad person. Some people are a bit more money focused than others or whatever. That's cool. It's the world we live in. It's the money world. That's what I was like to say. How much free information can I get from someone versus having to buy every single thing? I say, well, Doug does a lot of you know, fasting clinics and all that stuff and health and fitness week and all that. For sure. But you can get most of Doug's information for free off his own website and YouTube videos. So... Yeah. Next question was the aesthetics. Someone says, Doug has more wrinkles than Lou Corona. Now, here's two photos of Lou and Doug. Now, these are not Photoshop photos. These are photos that are ripped off Google Images. And they're, I like these photos because they're clear photos. You go to Lou's website, he's got a Photoshop photo of himself. And even Doug, there's a, a Photoshop photo on his website. These are real deal photos of how they look in real life. So these are great photos to use as an example. Doug Graham, has he got more wrinkles? Indeed, and do you know what? Do you want to know why you get more wrinkles? Because look at Doug's leanness. Look at this picture here of how lean Doug is. So when you strip off all the excess fat, fluid, toxins, etc., you're going to have more wrinkles. That's just how it is. Less toxins, less fat, less bloating. It means more wrinkles. All right, more bloating, more fat, more puffed out, less wrinkles. So look at Lou's face here. Quite puffy, quite sort of fat. You know, and that's fine. I'm not saying Lou's a bad person. I'm just saying people, well, Harley, why has Doug got wrinkles? Because he's so fucking lean. <laughs> you show me someone as lean as Doug, right? Without that, without wrinkles, man. And the only people with that who are like that are getting Botox, Brotox. Now I haven't had any Brotox because you can see here, you can see wrinkles, and then you can see here, wrinkles. So there's no Brotox on myself or Doug. If you uh, very lean, you have more wrinkles. Now, here's an example. He's a 21 year old Olympic triathlete. One of the twin brothers, what's his name? Do have to put it down, but like, I'm having a mental blank. Too many Ks today. The, um, the Olympic, the, 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 the gold medal kids at Olympics triathletes. 21, wrinkles. Crow's feet. Wike is fucking lean. If you want to get lean, you've got to have more wrinkles. So you can get your little Botox injections. I've got a syringe around here somewhere. No, nothing. 
get some injections in there and psh, like Hollywood style. That's why you get more wrinkles. When you're lean, you're going to have wrinkles. People are like, Harley, I want to get ripped abs like Doug Graham and be lean and sinewy, but I don't want to get any wrinkles. I want to have cheekbones and be able to see my cheeks. You can see your, your skeletal structure. That's a normal face. But people used to see this puffy, inflamed face. I don't think that's really healthy. But that's just my comments and criticisms. The next one would be you can comparing Doug Graham, who's like a Polish Jew, I think his bloodline is. Lou, Mexican, Spanish, who always have a better uh, tan, etc. You can't compare Caucasian with Hispanic or Latino or Asian, or whatever. You can't. You can only compare people in the same family, really, because you, when you're in the same family, you've got the same genetics. If you looked at other people, you know, it, it, people get into this mindset of like comparing races with races, but you can't do that. You can only compare probably family members with family members. That's a more accurate one. It's not fair to like if I could change my skin to black, I'd do it in a fucking heartbeat. Because I could ride my bike in the sun, no shirt, all year long, and not have to worry about getting sunburnt, man. I'd fucking love to, I could ride 110 Fahrenheit, just riding 200 miles, no shirt, just sweating in the sun. I'd be fucking love to do that if I was black. I'd do that every fucking day in summer. But, i got white skin. If I did that white skin, I'd burn the fuck out of that skin. So, you can only compare skin genetics, really, with someone in their own family or a similar race. Does that make sense? So many people in the health world just comparing that to that. You can't. What you can compare, though, is fitness levels. You can do that, but you can't compare skin. You can't compare hair or whatever. <laughs> like, I know Tiger has got this beautiful, long, black hair. You can only get that if you're, like, Asian, man, or Thai. You can't get that if you're, like, Caucasian. It's just not going to happen, man. Not going to happen. Another one would be the diet. Can you please talk about the diet differences? I don't know what Lou eats. He says he eats a vegan diet, raw vegan diet. Awesome. I don't actually know what he eats. No one actually knows what Lou eats. I heard it was just a handful of nut butter a day. Maybe Lou could do a video, what I eat in a day. That would be really cool. What I eat Wednesday, whatever. People know what I eat. People know what Freely eats. People know what Doug eats. I don't know what Lou actually eats, how much, how many calories, or whatever. A lot of times people be mystic and like, and like, if you're a health guru and you're mystic about your diet, that alarm bells ring for me. Um, what else can I talk about? Nobody follows Lou's diet long term. First of all, I don't know what the diet is. <laughs> so, some people say it's high fat, but there's no one doing high fat long term who's actually got some fitness. Now, Lou is doesn't have as many wrinkles because he's a bit fatter than Doug. So you see his face is quite chubby, so you're going to have less wrinkles. So if Lou was lean as Doug, then that would be a good comparison. Um, and I'm not having a go at Lou. I think Lou's got some fantastic things to, to share and say. So this is not a, a negative video, not a hate video, whatever. This is just comments and criticisms because people bring it up. And when you're a health celebrity, it's only fair that people talk about it. Someone, do, someone could do a video... Durian Rider versus Lance Armstrong or something. I wouldn't want that at all. Just comments and criticism, that's all it is. It's not hate. So people confuse that if you critique someone, you hate them. That's bullshit. That is lack of thinking. And Lou, he doesn't care anyway. He's just no judgment from him at all. He, just, he loves it. Um, what else we got with on the diet? No one can do it long term because no one even knows what it is. But let's say it was high fat. No one can do that long term. Um, the enzymes, I think that's a lot of crap. Um, blah, 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 blah. That's I pretty much covered it. So I think Lou's got some fantastic things to say. One thing I liked about Lou was he says, write a declaration and, and, and read it three times a day. Now that's powerful. So that's, that gets my thumbs up there. 100%. You should write a declaration where you want your life to go. Read it three times a day and just focus on getting that. That's fantastic. Um, so for me, Lou, what I get from Lou is more of a... A motivational speaker, motiv like life coach versus nutritional. There's nothing that I really that would help me or anyone else really. I could see that Lou says um, because it's very subjective, very vague, very mystic. But he's very objective and clear on life goals, etc. Positive attitude. So that's that's my take home message from Lou. Is the mental aspects very good? Nutritional wise, can't really talk about because I don't know about it because no one really seems to know what he actually does eat. 
So that's my takeaway message there. Write your comments, share your comments down below. What have you learned from either health teacher? And uh, look forward to reading the comments. I'm going to go get some carbs into me because I'm pretty rooted right now. But yeah, carbs for the win. Like, it's, it's crazy when people say, oh, you can do like low carb and still perform. It's like fucking bullshit. Bullshit, mate. That is the biggest load of bullshit I hear. But, oh, I've got heaps of energy. I do low carb. It's like, come out for a fucking training ride and show me how it works. Nobody's ever been able to do that. Crazy, isn't it? Low carb. Low carb and power and energy, not possible at all. Anyway, digressing here, rambling on. See you next video. What's the next video going to be about? Post it down below. We'll see you soon. Peace.